Hello and welcome to this exercise on algebraic equations. I hope you find it useful. Right, now this is our task. We're supposed to solve the equation cot squared x plus 2 cos x squared x is equal to 6. Now we need to change cot squared x and cos x squared x into the more familiar uh, sine and cosine or even tan. We know that cot x is the same as cos over sine and we know that cos x is the same as 1 over sine. So our equation will then reduce to uh, cos squared x divided by sine squared x plus 2 over sine squared x is equal, is equal to 6. If we now multiply every term by sine squared x, we end up with um, cos squared x plus 2 is equal to 6, squared, 6 sine squared x. We now have a choice. We either uh, express uh, cos squared x in terms of sine squared x or express sine squared x in terms of cos squared x. We know that cos squared x plus 1 sorry, cos squared x plus sine squared x is 1. So we then have uh, 1 minus sine squared x plus 2 is equal to 6 sine squared x because cos squared, cos squared x is same as 1 minus sine squared x. Now, if we take the minus sine squared x to the side that contains 6 sine squared x, we end up with 7 sine squared x is equal to 3. And when we divide both sides by 7, we have that sine squared x is equal to 3 over 7. Now, if we then take the square root of both sides, we end up with sine x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 3 over 7. Uh, we know that uh, the graph of cot x repeats itself after every 180 degrees. So we're going to have uh, x is equal to n into 180 plus or minus 40.9, where n is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So when n is 0, we end up with uh, plus or minus 40.9. I should explain the minus 40.9 later on. When x is 1, we end up with the values of x as 220.9 degrees or 139.1 degrees. When n is 2, we have x as 319 degrees. 0.1 degrees. Now, when n is 2, we can either say uh, 2 times 180 minus 40.9, which gives us 319.1 degrees, or we can say 360 plus 40.9 degrees. Now, that will exceed the range for, for which we are asked to confine our x values. So, our x value will then become 40.9 degrees, 139.1 degrees, 220.9 degrees, and 319.1 degrees. Now, the minus 40.9 degrees comes about when you measure our angle clockwise. And that's the same as 319.1 degrees when we measure, when we measure our angle anti-clockwise, the conventional way. I hope all that makes sense. And please, please subscribe and thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.